All right, everyone, after yesterday's success with Daily Motion, uh, BitChute, link in the description. More than ever, uh, I would like people to join me on other platforms other than just YouTube. Uh, and I would tell you why. I like YouTube. I'm still a YouTuber. I have brand loyalty to YouTube. That's why I still put all my stuff there. But it's come to the time when creators need to branch out further, number one, uh, just for pragmatic reasons. And number two, I like the fact that on BitChute, I can get more communication, like I can actually talk to the people that are running BitChute, and it's not a problem. Um, suggestions are actually taken seriously, and there's more of a community. Like if you look in the comments area in, in BitChute, it's a bit more active and interactive. Although I would say that the, the fact that it's discuss based is a little bit of a problem because aren't they censorious? Discuss? Don't they censorship? In the future, BitChute will want to do what you know YouTube has done and have its own comments section. Uh, there are improvements, by the way, coming to BitChute, but I'd like to point something out to people who say, well, it's glitchy or it's slower. BitChute is entirely different in the way that it works. It's a P2P based video service, number one. The fact that they were able to develop such a thing to lower their overhead is spectacular. Let me say something, though. Uh, to judge BitChute today against YouTube today, to compare the two, is not fair at all. YouTube, for the first five or six years of its development, was plagued with glitches. It was plagued with glitches, low functionality on site, buffering and loading issues. Most of you don't realize this. Most people joined YouTube in the last four or five years. YouTube really starts to get big in the 2010s. I, I was on YouTube in 2007, 2008. Uh, you know, in the mid-2000s, massively different platform. The buffering alone made the site almost unusable at certain times. If you were logging into YouTube at peak hours when most people were using it, you'd barely get anything to play. Yeah, good luck having your musical playlist. It wouldn't work. <laughs> Everything was buggy. It took YouTube the first half decade of its existence to solve half of the problems on the platform, and that was while having a huge amount of money, a huge amount of backing, and no real, at the time, no real competitors. BitChute fights an uphill battle, doesn't have nearly the uh, financial resources, has to be P2P just to make headway, and has managed in a shorter period of time to more or less smooth out all of the problems on site. I think that's a good indicator of its future. The main thing, I, I mean, most people, they say, well, the main problem is the apps or the searchability off-site. Agreed with the latter. Mainly, though, I would say that searchability on-site is the big thing uh, to worry about. Because, like, if I use Bitchu, in order to find something, I have to type things in exactly. Like, if there's a spelling error, if I got the username wrong or something, it's a problem. Whereas, on other, like, on YouTube, it's not. Uh, so, that functionality is admittedly lacking at the moment on BitChute, but there are other things that they're prioritizing um, related to financing, uh, related to the app, and I think it's a good direction to go in. I think that any video-based creator that doesn't have a BitChute channel is nuts. Uh, <laughs> I think you definitely should have one. And so, yes, definitely. Uh, if you could join me there, that would be great. If you're not seeing this on BitChute itself, and if you are, hello. Uh, I will, I know I've said this before, I will eventually do exclusive content on BitChute. I've thought about like the possibility of like putting every fourth video just on BitChute uh, and never even loading it on YouTube. But just, you know, for reasons related to time usage, it becomes harder. But at some point, the native audience on BitChute is now growing large enough, I suppose. There's enough organic traffic there and enough organic growth without even mentioning the fact that the platform exists. It's viable, it's growing, and for the foreseeable future, I don't see why it would shrink. I don't see it going out of business suddenly. I think we'd see four warnings if that were going to happen. So yeah, you should join me on BitChute. Funnily, I probably can't load this video onto Daily Motion without their algorithm banning me. It's a real big problem. You know, the other day I made one for uh, Daily Motion. I think more than 200 new, uh, new people are following me there. It, it hit the big 4,000. You don't have to go much further than that to be in the top 500 users by followers on that platform. So it's not really a subscription based video service, Daily Motion. It's more just viewership based. People don't make accounts as much unless they're putting content there. Like you make an account, you make contents. There's no reason for people to follow you <laughs> as, follow, as far as having their own account uh, because it's not a commenting-based platform, certainly in the same way as YouTube or BitChute are. It's not as interaction-based. It's more hosting-based, I guess you could say. That's about all.
Peace out.